Freddy. <clears throat> I'll give him the Barney Fife tour. Congratulations on purchasing the new weapon, the JBL 38 Special. <laughs> All right, maybe I won't give you the Barney Pfeiffer tour. I'm just going to show you real quick how to use this thing. There's not much to it. They're real simple, and they're easy to fix, so they last forever. This one's like 20 years old, probably. But the first thing I was going to show you is the bands. You take the spear out. It just slides in that tube at the top. But when you put the band in, it's thick. And um, I mean, I enclosed the package that this came in so you can see when you got to reorder the band, this is what drives the whole gun and they're only like eight bucks. But these bands are 16 inches this way and they're 9 16 inch thick. I looked it up on the JBL site. But basically, if you try to put the bands in from the side, they're really hard because they're fat. But the easiest way is to put them down like this and put the metal in through here first. See, so I, all I did was put the... I just kind of brought it from the top and you just put the metal here and then just pull it, pull it through like this, there. And there's backup bands, so I would take one with you in your tackle because if you break a band while you're spear gunning, you can just put a new band on there in seconds, but do it with the metal coming down this way. Now this gun is a sinking gun. It's kind of scratched up, but we got it because if you're trying to shoot something or you're trying to get a lobster, you could just drop this gun on the bottom and it won't float off on you. It'll stay right where you left it because they make floating ones and sinking. This is a sinking gun. So basically, just to operate this thing, you put the spear shaft through that little tube. Make sure it goes, make sure it goes under this, this band. And you want that tube holds the shaft. And then when it goes through, you'll see the notches have to be up. There's only two notches. So you just click it in, you'll hear it click, and then when you go to load it, you don't want to lose this cap. The guy I got it from, Spear Guns and Tournaments, it's kind of greasy because I wiped the gun all down right now, but I got the string and they're tied to this screw because if this cap comes off, you got to load it on your leg, so you don't want to lose this rubber cap. I got it tied on, but to load it, you just put it on your thigh. Usually you'll jump in the water. You don't want it loaded on the boat, obviously. So you jump in the water, and then usually while I'm just floating there on the top, I put it on my leg. You take both hands, you pull the band, and just pull it down until it, it goes on top of one of these two notches. Then it's loaded. See, watch this. It's loaded. Now, if you have a really big fish, usually I just go to the first notch. If you've got a really big fish, you can go to the second notch. But it's got a safety switch, too. So usually what I do is jump in the water, get away from everybody else, I would load it because if you see a fish, you don't want to have to screw around trying to load it and figure it out. I usually load it, then there's a safety switch on here. So you can flip it on safety so you don't shoot somebody around you. They usually prefer that. <laughs> and then if you get ready to shoot, you just kind of just look real quick and put it on fire. Or if you're just careful, make sure you don't point it at anybody. Sometimes I'd leave it on fire, but you want it loaded when you go down to look for stuff. This shaft. You'll want to check these fittings too to make sure they're screwed on there decent, they're not coming loose. But basically this, these tips are really good, these sea stingers. You just put the tip on the end, like that. Then when you see a fish, you kind of sneak up on them. Now the way the guy told me in the, um, that dives in the tournaments is he said when you come up on a fish, they'll turn around to go away from you. Like, and if you lunge for them, they'll be gone. So you kind of sneak up behind them, and then you follow them with your gun stretched out. Like, you know, you just kind of put the gun right behind them. And then, let's see, like this, you just kind of follow behind them. And then they'll swim away from you. And then after a couple seconds of doing that, if you don't rush them too much, they'll turn sideways, like, what the heck are you doing? They'll look like this. And as soon as they turn broadside to you, you shoot them right through the middle, just boom, they're done. So when you shoot this gun, you shoot it, the band throws it, this shaft comes out. And then you hit the fish, of course, with this end, and it pushes this tip through the fish, and it comes out the other side of the fish. And then you got them locked on this cable. And then the shaft will come out like this, and then they'll pull this, this cable. So if you're snorkeling or something and you're short of air, just come up and the fish can't go anywhere. They're locked onto this, and this will stretch like 30 feet. And so usually I would just come up to the surface, get my breath, and then you reel them in, just pull them in by this cable. Then when you want to, so the, this will be through the fish. The fish will be like right here in the middle and this tip will be behind them. They cannot pull it out. Now a lot of the tips are so big, they'll bounce off the fish or they don't get them, but this, it's got them. 
Then to release the fish, there's a spring-loaded clip right here. And this clip, this, this cable's got a little ball on the end. I just bought you a brand new tip, a real sharp one. This will be the backup. But when you get the fish, he's, he's like on here like this. You just pull that spring-loaded clip down, and then the cable pulls out of that. And then you just grab this end and pull it through the fish, throw them in a cooler. That's it. That's the whole operation of the gun. And then, oh, these, these are basically just keychains. These were rusted. I went to Ace Hardware, just got a cheap keychain. And you, if you can find stainless steel ones, that'd be even better. But you just put, these are just keychains because they're much easier than trying to get it through the gun itself. But so just get a couple key, cheap keychains and you can change anywhere you see these little, like here, this end has a one, two, a keychain. But this red cord, I, I'm sending you a backup of this red cord too. If you break this thing or it gets all frayed, it's about to break, you can just clip on a new one. And send me pictures of the monsters. So that's it. Let's snap it in. Let's snap it in. Pull the band on. If the band gets all rotted and, and breaks, then just put another band on. That's it. Just don't want this to come undone and lose this part because that part can be expensive if you got to replace it. But I've never had it come off. But And then when you're done, just spray the gun with um, like... Lemon Pledge, just spray the whole gun with Lemon Pledge and then just lubricate anywhere like where the, you know, where the shaft goes into the gun, these little sliding mechanisms, the trigger, just put some, you know, light oil in there every once in a while and it'll work forever.